Well, everybody, welcome to my CPA uh, exam course previews uh, for the spring of 2023. This is my second one, which is the preview of Becker CPA review. Uh, so right over here, my disclaimer and copyright notice, the information and opinions in this presentation are those of myself and not my employers or affiliated organizations, including but not limited to Irvine Valley College and the South Orange County Community College District. The presentation is for educational purposes only and does not constitute any accounting or legal advice whatsoever. The material contained herein is copyright by Becker Professional Education, Becker CPA Review. And again, the purpose of this video is to give you a preview of the Becker CPA Review course. So um, one of the things about Becker is that they have a very strong stronghold on the CPA review market. Um, it's a great product. I have known many students who have used Becker CPA review and have passed the CPA exam. Also, if you go to, I think it's with Deloitte, they'll offer you either Roger or Becker, but with most of the CPA review courses that you kind of go in like, and like, if you get an offer from Ernst and Young, the moment you have that offer letter, you'll be set up with Becker CPA review for free. And so you can basically get Becker CPA review and you can go through and use it and study. I also teach at Cal right now, this is spring 2023. I teach an accounting class on a part-time basis at Cal State Fullerton. Now what Fullerton has is an amazing deal where I think you pay something like a thousand bucks for C Becker CPA review, which is an insanely discounted price. And then with a scholarship, I think it reduces down to 500. So there are ways of getting the course for a pretty solid deal. That's basically though through Cal State Fullerton, they have a requirement that you have to be there as a student. You have to go through and basically be, I think on a Zoom on Fridays with a full-time instructor. But I'm assuming though that there are probably other colleges out there that might have a same kind of program. So again, if you're looking for the Becker CPA review, um, I'm sure there are other things that are out there. And the other thing else you is that I've used it in the classroom and I've used it in the classroom. I'm also planning on using Roger, Glime, whoever else will give me free you know, stuff that I can preview with you. But in teaching the second semester of intermediate accounting, when I was using the Wiley material, it was just not as clear and I think with Becker CPA review, they do such a great job of laying out leases and taxes that that's how I taught the class. So, and what was interesting was for the tax part of it, I used the tax materials and then I went in and basically solved all the Wiley problems with the methodologies that they had. So it was good stuff. All right. So. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Becker. So when you're going through and studying Becker, you have essentially you'll come over here and you'll have the various different parts. And what you'll also kind of see over here is that on all these review courses, they're going to give you content updates, software updates, and all those kinds of things. So when you kind of go through and look at this, and we saw with Roger, Roger had a lot more modules, but with Becker, you have over here financial. It doesn't mean more modules are better or less. It's just the way the material was laid out. So if I come down over here for every single module, you'll find basically these things down here. And if I go to say adjusting journal entries and I want to watch the video. This is certified public account, made uh, module eight. I'm back with you. Go on, go on and stuff. Hey, Sarah, you doing all right? The Dean of CPA Review. All right. I know what you're thinking, man. It's a lot of information. This is all financial one, and we've got all these modules. You know, this reminds me of, I, I was recently on vacation, and somebody asked me about mountain climbing. And I, I don't like climb nothing. But I do. So this is Peter Alinto. He's one of the review. He's one of the uh, C, Becker CPA Review uh, course leaders. Uh, what's interesting about this is that I actually turned on the Chinese uh, subtitles. So that's one kind of cool thing about Becker. I'm not sure. I'm 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 not sure if I didn't test it if it was on Roger, but that's one kind of cool thing about Becker is that if you are if you speak Chinese or if you read Chinese, this can sometimes be a little bit better in terms of understanding because the English language is a difficult one to learn, especially if you're from overseas. It's I had to go spend three years in law school, and that's why I try to make my classes more like math classes. 
So um, that you'll have basically a video and then you're going to have over here basically different kind of going through and different basically like you'll have various different lecture notes. So if I come over here and I kind of then say, OK, let's start on some multiple choice questions. So I'll go ahead and begin the MCQs. And these might have been ones that I've gone through and missed. July 1st, year one, Roxy obtained the fire insurance policy for a three year period at an annual premium of $72,000 payable on July 1st of each year. The first premium payment was made on July 1st. By October 1st, Roxy paid $24,000 for real estate taxes to cover the period from ending September 30th, year two. This prepayment was made to obtain a discount in its December 31st, year one balance sheet. Roxy should report prepaid expenses of, so we know that over here is that an annual premium of 72,000, right? So I'm going to have here left 36,000 on this part over here. So I know it's going to be at least 36,000. Then over here on October 1st, year one, I paid for real estate taxes to cover the period ending September 30th, year two. So for this 24,000 in terms of how much is going to be expensed, um, it's going to be uh, 6,000 basically means I'm going to have 18,000 left. So if I come over here, I take a calculator and I say 36 plus 18, I'm going to come up with, uh oh, I did divide it by 18. Hold on. So if I do 36 plus 18, that should give me 54. Okay, so if I say over here 54,000, and it says this choice is correct. So um, again, this is if I went through, let's go ahead and make one that's wrong. Let's make one up here. And eh, this choice C is correct. And so then I have this over here. So um, this is, you know, and again, if I want to go through and see the lecture as it relates to this, matching revenues and related expenses, this is what is coming up and popping up over here. So, um, and I'm not sure if you saw that, but that's what comes when I when I go through and collect, uh, when I go through and do it. So that's an example of going through and looking at uh, basically over here. So that basically goes through and kind of that's how you get through like your first part over here. Now let's go ahead and kind of take a look at, um, let's go ahead and do a task-based simulation. And let's see over here, go to inventory. And we'll do some simulations here. Okay, so I come over here and let's see. Okay. So for the task-based simulations right over here, um, it's asking me to calculate cost of goods sold using FIFO, using a perpetual inventory system. And if prices were increasing, LIFO would lead to you know this part over here. So when I go through again, and I'm basically putting in an answer over here, this is, I would go through and basically go through and do this. And then I... There you go. That's how I would go. I would basically go through, use Excel. Now over here, and this is something I will say about Becker, and this is not a knock on Becker. It's kind of nice that they're actually providing you Excel. But what I have heard from students is that most students tell me that you want to go through and use Microsoft Excel that's basically that's on your computer. So that's how I would kind of go through and kind of look at that. So we'll go ahead and exit this. Yes. Okay, so this is really, and if you go through and kind of look at each one of these parts, again, the way that this is, the way that this is laid out, it's going to be a little bit different than what you're going to see on Roger. Roger, I think there's more modules, but there's less underneath. These have a kind of a lot going underneath. So again, every, every one that you kind of go to is a little bit different. Uh, Pre-annotated ebook. So here is the ebook for this particular question. So again, I don't know how you would do this on a small screen. I would probably want to do it on a large screen at home. Um, an outline for this right over here. And 
practice exams, flashcards, and create a new flashcard session. Um, I've never really gone through and used these, um, explain the difference between the net method and gross method of recording accounts payable. Well, the net method is you include the discount. The gross method is you record it at what it is. Um, and if I want to see if this is correct, gross method, purchase without the discount. So it sounds like I might be somewhat correct. And so this will kind of help you go through and just, again, a way in terms of basically testing your knowledge. Okay, so the other part over here that I would also kind of just kind of draw your attention to is you'll basically get a mini exam, okay? And so basically the mini exam is a comprehensive exam of these questions that are designed to help you identify areas of, of weakness. After completing this, review the stat report and then reinforce weak areas by reviewing the lectures and the flashcards and reworking multiple choice questions and task-based simulations. So again, this is what's gonna help you get exam day ready um, and you may even want to start if you have a if you have a stronger knowledge of it, you may want to kind of go through and start with the mini exams first. Now, over here, this final mini exam covers these three modules, and then you get to the simulated exams. So for the simulated exams, and it's saying to do this two weeks before the test, which I kind of agree with. And then over here, you're basically doing over here uh, one week before the exam. The thing that I want you to be really careful about, right, and when you're studying for the exam, it is very psychological. If you start getting, if you're if you're studying at the last minute and you start missing questions, that is not going to be good. That happened to me, and I just stopped doing questions, and I was just reading. So whatever way works best for you, again, it's going to basically be best for you, but that's what you want to kind of go through and do. Now, the one thing I do want to do with Becker is, and I'm also going to try to do this with Roger, is that I also want to kind of go through and kind of see, it's like, okay, you know, how, uh, let's see here. What I really try to want to go through and do is basically kind of better understand how the whole planner works, right? So if I put in the dates and all those other things, like when I'm actually going through and taking the exam, how is that gonna help me go through and say, okay, my God, this is the amount of time that I have to kind of go through and do. So if you kind of see over here with the exam, uh, see here my planner, do the exam tracker, those are gonna be the ways they're gonna kind of help you kind of go through and better prepare. So again, um, right over here, let's see what's this about. Okay, so here you got um, a view class. This is in Dallas, Texas. Wow. Um, this is over here. This is in also in Dallas. And so if you want to see a live classroom, also in Dallas, okay. So yeah, so again, these are different things to actually see. I, I, when I studied for the CPA review, I did it live. This is gonna be something that you're gonna be just using the material more. Um, again, it's it, everybody studies differently, but both of these, uh, I know Roger and Becker CPA review are gonna be designed to help you pass the exam. I think that, and again, I've said this previously, you want to make sure you preview the courses before you go through and purchase them and make sure it's the right course for you. If it, if you're choosing a course that is not the right course for you, it's not going to end up well when it comes to the exam. Do not go for cost. Becker is very expensive. Rogers also expensive, but there's a reason why you want to use these courses because these courses will help you go through and pass the exam. Um, and especially too, if your accounting education was shaky, then it's something that you want to make that investment and spend that time. So again, Becker, um, it's Becker. It's, it's, you know, it's definitely one of the, I, I would say without hesitation, uh, one of the review courses I would recommend going through and and going through and doing, but just note though, like when it comes to the pricing, 
Um, definitely one of the more expensive review courses, but you do not want to go cheap when it comes to CPA review. Now, one of the things I will share with you is that if we do look at the pricing, okay, so right over here, um, you kind of see this, wow, the pro is right now for 2,300 bucks. Um, this is unlimited access, and this is, I think this is lifetime. So this is really, um, uh, this is pretty insane. Um, and I would definitely, again, when you're looking at these, this is 24 month access. This is unlimited access. You know, when you're going through and looking at this, uh, that's something that, you know, you want, this is something I would go through and do. So Again, this is a great price. Um, there could be, I've seen better, but it's not that far off. So again, I, you know, if you're looking at buying a review course, uh, this is definitely one you want to kind of go through and consider. I, I didn't go through and preview Roger, but if you go onto the website, I think also Roger. Okay. Let's see here. Right here, it's $17.99, Review Unlimited. And basically, this is where it gives you, like, again, like all the different, you know, uh, Elite Unlimited. And if you fail, we'll give you up to $1,000 back. This sounds like this, they basically are doing the same kind of deal. So it's not very far off of each other. Uh, but again, you know, use the review course that's going to be best for you. Um, and, you know, again, Becker CPA review, one of the ones I Becker and Roger, I really don't hesitate to recommend the students. And again, I've also had students that have used Glime and Surgent successfully. So if those are also courses you're considering, that's great. But I really would encourage you to go through and preview them yourself to see which lectures and what material is going to be best for you. So I am going to plan on doing a follow-up video, hopefully with Becker, and I hope they'll be able to get someone from there. Uh, to come on to the channel and basically have a conversation just to kind of go through and show me how to use the study planner and some of the other features that if I was actually taking the test, how that would work. So in any event, I want to thank you for being with me here today. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Have a great day.